So a beginner could be someone who's in shape and doesn't know what these poses are and is like, what is that? What is yoga? Or a beginner could be somebody who had trouble getting down on this mat. Both are good, both are fine. Totally fine. You're good. All right, let's get started. So you're, we're going to start in cross-legged. We do this motion a lot in yoga, crossing the legs. Um, if you sit a lot or if you run a lot, your cross leg is going to look like this. That's all right. It's okay. Whatever. Okay. What we're looking for is a feeling of release in the hips. So just find that. Just find that. And breathe into it. And feel your hips on the ground. The difference between yoga and exercise is yoga is mind work. We're, we're trying to feel stuff here. We're trying to be aware. That's, that's what we're doing. And that's why beginners and advanced people can be in the same classes because the work is the same. It's the same for everybody. All right, from here, we're gonna inhale forward. We're making a circle around our hips. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Becoming aware of your hips on the floor and then becoming aware of your tailbone. And then start to think about your lumbar spine, that's the lower part of your spine. Switch directions, same thing, other direction. Now feeling the muscles of your hips. And then the muscles of your low back. All right, I'm gonna describe it. When we inhale, we're doing a little bit of a back bend and we're coming forward. And when we exhale and go backwards, we're doing a little bit of core work or engaging the core right here, just a little. Good, all right. So next time you come to center, your spine is long, right? That's it, we're doing yoga, this is it. All right, so now we're gonna do to the cervical spine, that's your neck, approximately what we did to the lumbar spine, just, just kind of waking it up a little, all right? So we're gonna take the left ear to the left shoulder. Obviously my ear is not touching my shoulder, I'm just moving it in that direction. And then exhale forward, Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, forward. Keep on doing that. You're exhaling forward and you're inhaling your shoulder up. I mean, your ear to your shoulder. And it's awesome. It feels great. Let it feel great. That's really all there is. Keep breathing. Mm. And if you come to a place in your neck where your neck is like, hey, you have a lot of stuff stuck in there, stop right there and breathe through it. I have found like four different spots like that so far. Just be honest with yourself about what's going on in your neck. And also be real about the fact that yoga is something. This is not nothing. When we get in there and move that stuff around, we are moving that stuff around. It's really happening. It's not your imagination. It's real. It's physical. I'm getting it out. Mm -hmm. All right. Next time your head comes to center, pick it up. Yeah, so we haven't paid much attention to the shoulders yet. Let's do some shoulder stuff. Your hands are on your knees. Going to take your shoulders forward, up to the ears, back and down the back. Mm, that's a big motion. All right, so let me show you from the side. You stay where you are. This is just what I did. Shoulders up to the ears, back and down the back. Oh, do you see how that opened my heart? This 
is how your shoulders want to be all the time. I don't know anybody who walks around with their shoulders like this all the time. Maybe like movie stars or something. But you know, most of us are like, I work on a computer. Like that's our normal. So this, we gotta, mm, right? We gotta practice, 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 practice this. And this motion in Pilates and in ballet, they say like, pretend like you've got a pencil in between your shoulder blades. Like they are like really hardcore about it. In, in yoga, we're just like, you know, just find it, just find it. One of my teachers says, if you can do this motion with your shoulders, rolling the shoulder blades back and down the back, making the angel's wings try to touch each other, that corrects 90% of shoulder injuries. So if you or someone you know has a shoulder injury, here's what you need, right? Okay, that was a long speech. We found our shoulders. Take your hands to your heart. Do you feel like you're a yogi right now? You totally are. We rounded our hips, we found our neck, we found our shoulders. This is it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, up. Exhale to your heart. You feel that little big circle we're making with the shoulders? Inhale, up. Exhale to your heart. If you're a weirdo like me, you might appreciate that this grounds your heart energy. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart, which you don't have to believe that if you don't want to. Inhale up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Yeah. And now we're going to take the left hand to the outside of the right knee and the right hand behind us and we're twisting. And then look what my shoulders did there. Like, oh. And so I'm taking them up. I'm rolling them back and down the back again. Twisting. Find both hips on the ground. Find your spine long. And imagine your vertebrae. Imagine your spine. Imagine all the directions that those little vertebrae are pointing. All different directions. Feel down to your tailbone here. Send some breath down there. And send some breath all the way up to the top of your head. Good. Your back hand goes across the ceiling. Watch it go across the ceiling. Mm. Stack the eyes of your elbows on top of each other. Wrap your hands around each other. Now we're digging into the shoulders, okay? You can't get the fronts together, get the backs together. It doesn't matter. This is where we want to feel it right here, okay? Find that. And then if it feels good to you, inhale up and tip your head forward. That's the top of your shoulders, the outsides of your shoulders and the back of your neck. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again, inhale up. Mm. Exhale down. Put your hands on your knees. I don't know about you, but I need to roll out my neck again. Take your left ear to your left shoulder. Exhale forward. Inhale right ear to right shoulder. Just feeling something. We're not trying to achieve anything. Exhale forward. We're trying to feel stuff. Next time it comes to center, sit up. All right, find those shoulders again. And now I want you to find this muscle group right here, your core. Disengage it. I'm turning. You don't have to turn. Well, maybe you do. Depending on where you are on your mat or whatever. Turn and boat pose, Navasana. All right, so <clears throat> this is about holding your body away from your core. If you can pick your feet up and do this, then great. If your feet need to be on the floor, that's okay. Just try to find this action. You're gonna find it. It's gonna feel like, oh, it's gonna feel hard. Roll your shoulder blades back and down the back. Here we are, boat pose. Yeah. And we're breathing. 
and we're feeling our core muscles work in. It's a huge, important muscle group. If you want to pick up your feet, you can. We're breathing. If you feel this, you're in the right place, and yoga is the right thing for you. Good. Come down. Put your feet on the floor. Put the back of your head on the floor. Put your shoulders on the floor. And let's just be here for a second. Yeah. And then we're going to lift up our hips. And we've got a kind of like a, I want to say tripod, but it's not a tripod. Our feet and our shoulders and our head are carrying equal weight, okay? you got like your shoulders, your head, your two feet. Find your weight there. You're not pressing your neck down against the ground, okay? You're not pressing your neck down. The back of your head, you're pressing. Your shoulders, you're pressing. Your feet, you're pressing. That's where you're holding your weight. If you feel this pose in your legs, it's because your legs are working. That's on purpose. It's all right. Also doing a little bit of a back bend here. We're also in an inversion. We're upside down. Inversions are huge in yoga. They're huge. All the blood flow coming down from the legs, back to the heart, back to the brain. It's really healthy for you. Okay, come down. Hug your knees into your butt. And this feels so good. And rock back and forth maybe if you want to. This right here is plenty of yoga. This is plenty right here. Hug just right knee and take the left leg long and just put your left foot down on the mat. Hug your right knee. See if you can roll your shoulder blades back and down the back. Just feel this. Now we're getting into that hip. That's your right hip. Feel what you feel. Maybe roll your ankle. Maybe roll your hip around. Mm. Now take this knee, pull it across your body. Ooh, and now we're stretching the outside of the hip. Coming into this supine twist. If you want, you can pick up your hip and uh, scoot it backwards that way, like an inch, just to get your body in a nicer line. That's up to you. What we're looking for is this nice twist, nice outer hip stretch. Breathing here. If you want to, you can turn your head away and get a complete rotation in your spine. It's up to you. The place you want to feel this one in a nice way is in your internal organs. That's so weird. You're like, I can't feel my internal organs, obviously. But that's what's happening here. That's why we do this. The organs of digestion, the organs of, you know, excretion, reproduction, like everything's like bundled up in here. And we're going like, wringing it out. It's so healthy. Okay. Now come up onto your, I guess that's your left forearm. Stacking your legs long, well, stacking your legs long like that, right? You're squaring your hips, you're squaring your shoulders. You're making a nice line with your body. This pose is really elegant and really useful. Do you feel what it's doing? Breathe and see if you can feel what it's doing. All right, I'll tell you. It's a side bend. It's letting go of this right here. And the more you feel gravity letting that happen, the more it's going to happen. It's your ribs and your waist. Let's feel it. 
If you, like me, notice yourself being a little bit out of alignment, like your shoulders or your hips are not quite right, adjust it. Do that with any yoga pose. Feel your way in. All right, from here, I'm gonna take this top foot and put it, and that's my right foot. I'm putting my right foot on my left thigh and I'm opening across the hips this way. See if that, if that feels okay. If it does, do it. If it doesn't, then don't. This is like a fallen over tree. You might know tree pose. This is tree pose only on its side. If you want to, you can grab behind this thigh and straighten this leg, at which point we come into a pose called sleeping Vishnu. But you know, I don't care if you have your leg up or not. I really don't. From here, bend your knee, put it down at 90 degrees in front of you. And now like, look at this crazy shape we just made. It's nuts. If you are able, grab your bottom foot with your top hand. If you can't get your bottom foot with your top hand, get your top foot with your top hand. Either way, what we're looking for is a quad stretch. Your quads are your thighs. Big front muscles of your legs. Stretch into those quads. Or one of those quads. Mm -hmm. Feels like something. Yeah, come down on your back, and you're gonna cross your left ankle onto your right thigh. You're gonna thread your hands through, maybe grabbing the back of the thigh or the front of the shins, it doesn't matter. And where you're gonna feel this is inside your right hip. Find it inside your right hip and breathe. Arms out to the sides, legs go straight up in the air, flex your feet. Core is working a little bit here. We're getting a stretch along the backs of the legs. It's nice. Hug your knees. Remember this one? Engaging your mula bandha. Your mula bandha is your kegels. Deep interior pelvic muscles. Open your legs. Take your arms to the insides of your thighs and the outsides of your shins. And now you're in happy baby. And rock back and forth. See if you can figure out where your kidneys are. Under your rib cage. Just under your rib cage. Send your breath down into your diaphragm, down into your belly. What that does is it tells your adrenal glands that they can back off. Release out of that. Put your feet on the floor, back of your head on the floor, shoulders on the floor. We're coming up into a bridge pose again. Grab your hands underneath you. If you feel your legs working, it's all right. Building them up a little bit. Stretching across the abdomen. Opening the heart. The throat is constricted in this pose. That's on purpose. It's stimulating your thyroid and your parathyroid. Good, come on down. Hug your left knee and stretch your right leg long and roll your shoulder blades back and down the back. Maybe roll that ankle around. And then take that knee across your body. Here comes your supine twist. Whenever I do this pose, I like to pick up my hips and scoot them back about an inch, but you don't have to. You can if you want to, all right? And then feel where you feel this twist. Just feel it. I was talking about your internal organs before. Maybe you also feel it in your spine or the muscles around your spine. Make sure that whatever you feel is good. 
This is one of those poses that's supposed to feel good. If you don't feel good, then move around until you do. Okay, find that. Breathe in here. And now come up onto your right forearm, stack your legs long, flex your feet. And then here's your uh, side bend, right? It's nice. Just find it and feel it and be with it. That's it. That's all yoga is. In this video, this is an absolute beginner's video. We're not going to even do a down dog. We're not going to do any warriors. I'm basically going to keep you on the mat the whole time and you're full on 100% doing yoga. This is it. This is what it is. Breathing into your side body. At this point, if you want to, you can pick up your foot, put it on your thigh. There you go. Opening across here. Fallen down tree. From there, if you want to, you can straighten your leg, whatever. This is kind of hard. If you're not into it, don't do it. This is pretty much the same deal. Yeah. And then that knee goes to 90 degrees. Put it down in front of you. You're going to bend your bottom leg and see if you can grab it with your hand. And if you can't, then get the top leg. One way or another, we're stretching the quad. That big, big muscle. Breathing into that. Come down on your back, cross your left ankle on your right knee, thread your hands through, figure four. Figure four is hilarious because when I teach this, whenever I teach this, people just start groaning. They'll be like, oh, if you want to make that noise, then go ahead. It seems to be helpful. This is a big pose. It gets you right into that hip. And that's a part of the body that's really um, needs it. It. All right, mm, release that. Cross your ankles, roll up to seated, or come to seated however you want. We're going to do one more. We're going to do two more things. All right. So the first one, the first one is Baddha Konasana, a bound angle. This is my number one favorite pose. You'll love it. Put your feet together. That's the pose. That's it. This is Baddha Konasana. And all my yoga friends can do this with their knees down on the ground. I can't. I have tight hips. Yours might look like this. Whatever. We're all doing the same pose. Feel your feet touching your feet. That's so cool. Your one foot is touching your other foot. Your other foot is touching your other foot. It's so cool. All right, grab your ankles if you're not already. Take your shoulders forward. Take them up to your ears. Take them down, down the back. Your spine gets about an inch and a half longer. Your adductors open. And this is a great place to feel how your whole body is connected, right? By rolling our shoulder blades back and down the back, we lengthen our spine and we open the hips. And now we have this interesting cantilever going on with the arms and the shoulders and the knees and the hips. It allows you to take weight off of your spine. It allows you to rebalance your head. Think about your skull. I'm going to move this pose a little bit. Move with me to the extent that it feels comfortable, okay? I don't know if you're going to, like, depending on which direction you have your mat, you might need to turn. Um, here we are in Bhattopanasana. We're going to put our hands 
behind us, pointing the fingers towards the hips. Stretch into the wrists. Cool, right? Take your shoulders up to your ears, back and down the back. Mm. Yeah. It's a heart opener. Breathe into your heart. Fourth chakra. If it feels all right to you, come down onto your forearms behind you. This is maybe a big motion, so don't do this if you don't like it. Okay, come down onto your forearms, and now we're like, whoa. Okay, roll your shoulder blades up to your ears, back and down the back. Maybe your head wants to go back. Don't do that if it doesn't feel great. And you're breathing all up and down your spine. I mentioned the thing about the neck. Don't don't ever let your neck go back until your neck is like, yes, 100%, I want to do that, okay? The cervical spine is really delicate. Okay, push yourself back up here. And then, remember a long time ago when we were doing cross-legged, I think we started, we started in cross-legged? Coming back to cross-legged, see if you can remember how you had your legs crossed before and cross them the other way. Probably gonna be your non-dominant way. Put your hands on your knees. We're gonna inhale forward, exhale back, tracing around the hips again. Keep your mind deep in your body, focus on what you feel. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Yeah, and then go the other direction. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Yeah, okay. And then let your spine get really long. Awesome. Hands to your heart. Inhale them up. Here comes that shoulder thing again. Maybe look up at your hands. Exhale back to your heart. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Last time, inhale up. Keep them up. Look at them. And then you're going to take your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind you and twist. Hanging out in this twist a little bit. Feel something. About those internal organs, just like that other twist we did, or about failing heart. It's also about twisting the spine. It's also about releasing some of these really tight muscles in the low back and the middle back. It's also about releasing your neck and your head. Back hand goes across the ceiling. Stack the eyes of your elbows. Wrap your hands around each other. Inhale up, tip your head forward. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do it again, one more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Release. Walk your hands forward a little bit. Just find the tiniest little cross-legged forward bend. What we're feeling here is our hips. Find it in your hips, not in your knees, not in your low back. Just come to a point where you feel it in your hips and breathe.
put weight in your hands and sit up. Lay your body back down on the mat. It's time for Shavasana. Shavasana means corpse pose, okay? For real, corpse pose. And that means that's how much energy you're supposed to be bringing. As much mental energy, as much physical energy as a corpse would bring. In other words, nothing. That's the challenging part. Watch your breath. Wiggle your toes and fingers. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Inhale your arms above your head and your feet away from you. Make a long leg. Exhale, bend your knees and roll onto your right side in the fetal position. And stay there. And then come up to seated. <clears throat> Take your hands to your heart. That's yoga. Doesn't have to be complicated. We don't have to do gymnastics. That's yoga. Good job. Namaste.